Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Marilyn here. I have a new video tutorial using the March limited edition kit by my creative scrapbook. I'm going to use uh, this photo and I cut this mat with using one of my die cuts and look this beautiful paper and this second one. I want to create like a white piece here when I'm going to place my photo. So I'm going, I want to tear the edges of the paper here, of the piece that I'm going to use. Uh, let me tell you that this is the Pretty Mosaic collection by Prima Marketing that is featuring this month in the limited edition kit by my Grady Scrapbook. I will let you in the description box down below the link to the kit and the information. Okay, I'm using my nails as a guide here to tear the borders and I already have the piece and I think that it, lo it will look pretty if I sew around all these uh, edges. Let me go to my sewing machine and here it is, look the double stitches that I made in the borders. I think it gives a lovely touch final touch to the paper. I add here a piece of cardboard behind the white paper and behind the photo too. And I think that I'm going to adhere the photo also to the mat that I create with the die cut. And once I have these pieces, I need, I'm going to take this craft sponge with heavy gesso. And as you see that my back Round paper is very busy so I want to neutralize a little the background so for that reason I am making the sponging technique on the background I just apply a, a little of gesso and I dab in the sponge around the area that I'm going to adhere the, the white piece paper the white paper that one as you see here and once I, I, I apply like two coats of gesso and here you can see how it will look. Now I take my T ruler and I am uh, just making a pencil mark in the, in the center of the paper. And because I'm going to, uh, I, I'm going to trace a line here because I want to adhere the piece that I made, this one, in the center but because this piece has a irregular shape it's easier to have a guide when, when uh, in the play in the correct play that you going to adhere this piece later okay now i'm making marks also with the pencil uh, to have an idea <laughs> how big is this piece and it's easier in that way to add the textures i'm going to use modeling paste as you see here and I'm using this beautiful uh, stencil by Tim Holtz from my stuff. And now I am applying the modeling paste and using my palette knife to, uh, to add uh, the paste. And I'm going to follow the same shape that I create with the pencil and add all these textures around this area. As you see, I, I follow all the lines. It's hard to see at this moment, but I'm going to dry now. And now I'm going to add the same textile, uh, the same textures on the on my first layer that eat this one, as you see here. Once I, I'm going to let it dry these pieces, but now I want to add gesso to a piece of cheesecloth. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Super easy, I just make a mess with the gesso. But uh, the reason that I applied gesso to the, uh, to the uh, cheesecloth is because I, want, I needed that this cheesecloth stay stiff. And it is uh, the perfect way to do it. And at the same time, it, I give a white color to the cheesecloth. Now I'm going to let it dry the, uh, the cheesecloth and I'm with a sponge, I am applying gesso over all the textures. In that way I give color to the texture but at the same time I am preparing the paper 
in case that I want to add a uh, color. And let me tell you what happened with this page. I just started to create this page with a, you know, with an idea. Let me explain you that and now from this paper, I'm going to call this piece, The Beautiful Life, um, one, and this butterfly. And I'm going to make fussy cutting here. And when I started to create this page, I have uh, an idea to, uh, to let the page completely white. I just want to uh, soft the background only with gesso, but you will see that I change it later. And now I, w I think that uh, it looks pretty here, the beautiful light, because the girl is uh, has a flower and she's look upside uh, and it go perfect with the beautiful life. And now I add a few of colors a few flowers to have an idea how everything will look and here is when I decided to add a piece of of, of pattern paper on the bo on the bottom part here of my page so I am doing the same that I did with the piece here I just tear the edges and I cut I also make two pieces but at the end I select the the white this one and I also uh, sewing around this piece. And now I want to show you that I did the same that I did uh, in the top part. I'm just apply with the sponge uh, gesso around the, the small piece. And now I add in texture with the same stencil and modeling paste. And I am doing this now because as I told you, I decided, uh, you know, I had uh, something on, on mine and I changed completely and add these small pieces. Here I'm going to uh, add, uh, I'm using Versamark with embossing powder and I took the Happiness Warp. Uh, this is actually a board that, that comes in the kit from Creative Embellishment. And I apply uh, Versamark to the chipboard and now I'm using this gold embossing powder by Blue Fern Studio and now I'm using my heat tool to uh, melt all this uh, embossing powder and it looks so pretty the gold it's very similar to the gold that the paper has now it's time to uh, to uh, adhere all the pieces and as you see I follow the pencil mark and adhere the white piece here in the center of the paper. I make a little of pressure here. And I'm going to do the same with the uh, small piece on the bottom. It takes a little of time to uh, to dry here all the glue and I place the photo to uh, have a vision of how it would look. Now I decided to add another piece of cardboard uh, behind the mat of the photo here. I take the T ruler to uh, to check that the bottom piece is in the center. Sometimes it's a little hard when we made pieces that are irregular to, to know if it's in the, exactly in the center. Um, um, although I don't want, it's not had to be perfect, but you know. I put the heavy gesso uh, uh, jar over the piece. It helps to, uh, to adhere the piece here. And I decided to use my heat gun, uh, hot glue I should say to uh, to secure the border here and it's done <laughs> now I'm going to start to adhere everything uh, I decided to uh, to adhere the beautiful life I also add a piece of cardboard behind and here is the je the sheet cloth that is very thick uh, this is the 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 look that I want that is very thick because I am going to make cuts in the in all the edges because I'm going to fray 
the edges of the fabric and it will give all this um, thread, all this mess of threads around the photo. It will look so pretty. Now I'm going to place the photo and adhere it. And you will now in this moment, I will let you with music. I'm going to play with all the flowers, the female packages and all the embellishment from the kit. And I will let you with music. I come back soon. Okay, now I'm going to add our stones with gel medium and I'm using the uh, the paintbrush to put uh, the gel medium over the areas that I want uh, on the background paper and then I add the our stones. Uh, it gives a nice textures, the our stones, and I'm just applying them around the flowers over the uh, cheesecloth uh, behind the, the white paper in like in layers in that way you create dimensions and a little of depth on, on the project i i'm trying to make uh 
like a how I explain like a road with the with the same R stone I just started in, in the bottom part here that you see where is the big uh, butterflies and I'm trying to trace the uh, uh, like the you know like create like a path when the butterflies are uh, are flying so I add uh, the all the R stone in the same way and as you see here uh, it gives a nice texture is everything wet but I'm going to let it dry now I'm going to add uh, some pearls and I will add in the same way I will start with the bottom part here and I'm going to create the same path here with all the beads the art stones and the and the pearls and I decided to add the pearls with the hot glue because it's, it's uh, is dry easy <laughs> and I don't want to wait too too long now here is when I change my mind and I was thinking to let it white the paper but I don't know I think that it needs a little of shadow behind this paper here so I took the distress ink is the Victorian velvet distress ink and I am applying with this uh, brush i just love how uh how lovely uh stay the distress in using this uh brush over all this of this surface that it has a lot of texture because the modeling paste and the stencil and it blend very well no matter that it has all this texture so i recommend you to use this and uh, I bought this uh, brush, uh, Dollar Tree for one dollar, so it's very cheap. Uh, it give, it it make a, a great work to blend the distress ink. And I don't know, I just applied the pink color, and I'm not sure if I love more in. I should let it uh, white instead of the pink i don't know what do you think do you like more with the pink or or do you prefer the paper uh the page uh we only with the gesso i i i continue thinking about it but anyway it's pink now now i cover the photo and i add the white paint splatters over all these surface it gives this nice effect and i'm going to show you now look all the texture but you can see uh, better here look the textures i just i decided at the end i add a little of paint over the art stone that uh that's the reason that they uh, i highlight uh, a lot the the art stones and you can see here the cheese cloth the stuff look the pretty photo and all the details here the stitches look also the stiffness of the cheese cloth i just love uh, the effect that the gesso uh, gives to the fabric and look the tube board with embossing i think the, it looks so pretty look the colors uh, how it looks outside in the photos that i took outside well i hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial that it inspires you to create something and this is my page for this weekend i hope that you make something and if you make anything just hashtag marilyn rivera i would love to see what you create and i see you soon with other video tutorials don't forget if you like this video please give me a like a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i see you soon with other video tutorials nos vemos bye bye